Ushiri demands apology from SA government for unjust persecution. Prominent preacher Prophet Shepherd Bushiri has demanded an apology from the South African government, saying he and his wife had been unjustly targeted for being foreigners. Hence their decision to flee the country unceremoniously. Bushiri said this as an inquest into the extradition gathered pace this week at the Lilongwe Magistrates Court in his home country of Malawi. The couple are facing charges relating to the theft of a 106 million purportedly through an entity called Rising Estate that allegedly took money from congregants under the guise of investing it and no monies were ever paid out to congregants. South Africa's National Prosecutions Agency sent Director of Public Prosecutions, Advocate Sibinjal Mzinyothi, to Malawi to present evidence regarding the couple's finances. In the process she was cross-examined by the Bushiri's lawyer Wakona Peter. In an eight-minute audio shared on social media after a court appearance, Bushiri accused the SA government of tampering with documents presented to court by Mzinyothi. What happened in court yesterday is heartbreaking. The South African witness presented evidence that was tampered with. The document from KPMG showed that there was no money that was sent to mine or my wife's bank accounts from a company that scammed our church members promising to trade Forex for them. He said. The prophet also claimed that that he had never taken any money from his church members. My wife and I took over $5 million, which is about a 90M and paid our members who had invested in that company and lost their monies. But SA government falsely arrested us even after we opened a criminal case against that company which scammed our congregants, he said. Bushiri claimed that the attacks on him were caused by xenophobia and jealousy. He said he hoped an apology would follow his persecution. I just want to say, it's so heartbreaking. As a man of God, I have forgiven them and their actions. I hope if they are humans that they will apologize over such behavior. We are here to expose more things and to show them that actually they did all these things because I am a foreigner in South Africa. My ministry was growing too big, and this was part of xenophobic jealousy and more other things. He said, please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.